it's not about personality or the greater glory of Marshall Runkle. It's about the greater glory of Portland. That's a key part of my pitch is let me help you get us where we all want to go. And I think that just solving our problems is not good enough. We need to aim higher than that. And I think that we can become an example for the world again. And people can come instead of cursing Portland as a villain of some kind, think of Portland again as a place that leads and that does interesting and innovative things that people want to replicate in their city. So let me tell a quick tiger story. It's one of the more interesting constituent calls that I took in City Hall. Someone called one day and said uh, that their neighbor had gotten a tiger. It was a little tiger cub, so it was a cute little tiger cub, but it was gonna grow into a 500 pound animal that likes to eat meat. The State Department of Agriculture gave him a permit to have a tiger in the backyard. So I went and talked to my friends at Multnomah County because Multnomah County does animal control in our, in our city. And they said, well, we're working on a new animal control law. We should have the tiger ban in place in the next nine to 12 months. <laughs> so I asked the city attorney, like, could, could we just put a temporary ban on tigers and maybe lions too? I started getting phone calls from people who have uh, domestic cats that were interbred with wild cats. They were very upset with the first draft of the city attorney's <laughs> new regulations because they would, these hybrid wild domestic cats would be caught up in the new regulation. So my idea was I asked them if they, any of them knew a lawyer who could draft an ordinance for us that would just cover the large cats. Believe it or not, they came up with a great draft. And instead of the city attorney's draft, we adopted the code suggested by the hybrid domestic wild cat activists, for better or worse. And I think there's a couple of lessons in there. One is you need to go forward, even if the city and county can't agree. And also, the first draft of anything that the city comes up with might not be perfect. And we might need to listen to the local experts about a slightly different approach. The situation was resolved successfully, and that's the end of my story. Yeah. <laughs> it is happy hour. Try to involve a little bit of fun here, uh, and.